Yo, what up, what up, what up? Welcome back to Pinoy News. Man, listen, I just want to thank all y'all single moms out of here who whined and complained and bitched and moaned about fucking having your kids be off school because now we're having an actual problem with fucking hospital beds. Dolphin County, PA. Exhaustion is hitting those working on the front lines and concern is mounting for patients in need. I hope this isn't our tipping point to say it's getting worse before it gets better. Susquehanna Township EMS Director and uh, Executive Director in Chief Don Kuntz tells CBS 21 News, Samantha York, if we have too many patients, we can't provide good care. We've had nothing but a steady climb of cases since the end of June, and the cases in Pennsylvania have continued to go up. Geisinger, Director of Infectious Diseases. As COVID-19 surges in Pennsylvania, labor shortage continues to impact hospitals. It's causing them to request EMS crews to divert patients to another facility due to capacity and, uh, limited, and limited care, uh, li care limitations. Sorry. We're seeing sort of a gradual buildup of hospitals issuing diverts, meaning please don't bring people here. Curse continues. Everything gets jammed up, so there's no beds upstairs. We have no beds downstairs. Hospitals are taxed right now. Pennsylvania's Acting Secretary of Health, Allison Beam, says... We know that hospital resources and staff have been under extreme pressure since the start of this pandemic. Hospital diversions occurred this weekend and Monday night through Dolphin County, through Dolphin, Cumberland, York, and Lancaster counties. Wellspan Health is among the healthcare systems. Oh, God damn it, fucking disappeared. I don't know where the hell it went. All right, here we go. Healthcare systems who issued notices for EMS crews to divert patients this week. Spokespersons Ryan Coyle released a statement of CBS 21 News. I can confirm we have had EMS diversions at various times at multiple facilities as we continue to see an increase in patients testing for positive for COVID-19 and needing hospital care. It's important to note that even temporary diversions are put in place. Individuals have never turned away from hospitals and will always be treated as is required by law. You can see a breakdown of our daily COVID-19 census here on our data dashboard that is updated each day. All right, if you hover over each hospital in that first line grid, you see the day-to-day -day breakdown dating all the way back to the beginning of the pandemic to put things into perspective. Well, let's let's take a look at this. Hang on, man, man. You know, because I'll be honest with you, like, yo, all my kids are sick right now, right? And the problem is, legitimately, that, you know, we're having an issue of where these individuals here are going back to fucking school and, you know, I mean, bringing home every fucking cold and flu virus that they can possibly find. Half of this ain't even COVID. Most of this shit ain't COVID. It, like, they, they might be testing for positive or COVID fucking whatever, but most of this is just regular motherfuckers getting sick, right? And everybody panicking because, oh my God, my kid got the coof, right? And then, you know, shit's fucking, everybody's losing their goddamn minds. This is the goddamn problem when it comes down to it, right? All right, so we are committed. I mean, I can't find that part. It's not loading up. We are committed to doing everything we can to support those who require longer wait times and emergency departments during peak times are, are an issue. One way our communities can help them to make sure they seek the right care at the right time. We do have well-span urgent care locations for medical needs, including stitches, back pain and strain, cold and flu, sinus, insect bites, allergies, cuts, burns, and wounds. Constipation, diarrhea, broken bones, and sprains. Our emergency departments are prepared to care for people suffering from symptoms of stroke, severe burn, shock, difficulty of breathing, major trauma, injury, heart attack, chest pain, and uncontrollable bleeding. While, the law, by, the, while by law, patients needing care are never turned away from hospitals, the hope with requesting EMS crews to divert patients to other facilities is to save patients from waiting in, in a critical time. In a press conference Tuesday, Samantha York posed the uh, concern regarding hospitals being overwhelmed, the acting secretary Beam and Penn Medicine Lancaster General Health Chief Clinical Officer Dr. Michael Rip, uh, Ripchinski. We are actually closely monitoring this diversion right now, and in hospitals in different regions of the state, we're also out-of-state hospitals that are diverting to Pennsylvania. Acting Secretary Beam responded, where do people that need to go, uh, where do people that need to care go? And Samantha York asked, I'm actually concerned about the surge in Lancaster County, as I mentioned in my comments, over 80 hospitalized on an average week. It's concerning to us because it takes beds. It takes beds away from people to maybe holding off on care. Dr. Ripchinski answered, we are trying to balance from a hospital's perspective. What's the right, what's the right way to do this? Yo, look. Again, why are we putting kids in schools? Oh, I remember. That's right. Yo, females don't want to watch your kids. And you decided to divorce your fucking husband or, you know what I'm saying, not have your baby's father around. And the best that you can fucking hope for is to stand here and have your kid educated or fucking babysat eight hours a day at goddamn school. That's the problem in the end of the day. 
you know, this is what happens when you fuck up your society and decide that like women are more important than everybody the fuck else. This is exactly what the fuck happens. Is what it is, you know. But hey, man, you know, I'm I'm just some dumb, you know, what I mean, gorilla on the internet. Tom Pizza, Pino and News. Like, share, and subscribe. Peace.